Hello folks and welcome back to Mining Street. Where we last left off, we decided to set up Sector 223 as kind of our launch site for all of the things. You can see everything's going in there and then we can use that to send things out. Now we have Sector 226 under attack. Uh, if we take a look here and drop down, uh, we should easily survive all of that. So I don't know if I'm super worried about that or if I should be concerned and go through it. I've also uh, kind of been rethinking my strategy here. Do I want to go through and have these sectors or these uh, eradication bases be my next goal or I'm still missing stuff on the tech tree uh, particularly I really want this thing over here which requires that I uh, capture the nuclear production complex uh, and the rest of the stuff is ready to roll as long as I have enough materials for it uh, and then we need the naval fortress and this one uh, requires a whole bunch of other stuff including a specter, which apparently we don't have. I guess it's that guy right there. Um, so there's a couple of pieces of tech that we have that I have not been able to capture yet. I think I might want to. Uh, so we take a look here at Naval Fortress. Again, I'm still scared of that. Uh, earlier videos, and this has been a while coming, um, but you guys really scared me of Naval Fortress. I want no parts of that right now. Uh, we have Desolate Rift, which again, uh, I don't really want extreme threat. Sounds terrifying. And then we have nuclear production complex, which is a high threat. I think that's going to be the play of what I want to do, especially after uh, some of you guys are talking that the eradication bases, uh, like we survived long enough to know that there was a guardian coming and it wasn't just a guardian coming. It was one guardian from each of the cores. And I don't think I'm equipped to handle that right now. Um, even though I got power online and some units built pretty quickly, I'm just, I don't think I'm ready to do that yet. Uh, so I think I'm going to change gears here and uh, we're going to, we're going to look at nuclear production complex, but first we need to capture sector 226 and by capture, I mean, just make sure that we don't lose terribly. Uh, so we're going to do that and make sure that we're in good shape. And then from there, uh, we'll be in good shape, hopefully here. So let's just uh, zoom through, see what we have coming our way. And what do we got coming our way here? These look like uh, one air-based unit. And then we have some bombers. That guy got shot down pretty quick. And then, so, we have these guys, which I don't want to bother with. They're going to get shot down pretty quick, I think. Then these guys are going to do their thing and shoot everything, including me. <laughs> and they're going to make it to about there before they get absolutely wiped out. And beautifully, uh, we have these wonderful wonderful polys there to absorb any problems that we may or may not have and, and we definitely had those problems um, i do want to fix this one as well so let's go over here how are we doing power wise not great okay so maybe we'll uh, work on the power distribution here as well uh, so let's go over here we'll get some rtt generators and we're just going to place them very carefully on those guys And that should help us out in the power department, I think. There we go. Well, our power is kind of swinging around wildly, and that's fine. Uh, let's go here and get a men projector real fast. Keep that in the range of uh, our units there. And we're just going to repair some things. There we go. See, we're just repairing. We're, we care about our stuff. So here we go again. They're coming back for us. I think I'm going to do another row of uh, RTG bad guy or good guys there. Get all of this stuff set and ready to go. Man, there's there's firefights happening. Uh oh, uh oh. Found a little chink in our armor there. It's not super, I mean, we can deal with it. Just not super close. All right, so we can absorb some of that stuff. Luckily, those are not high value units. So we should be able to dispatch with them pretty quickly, I think. And we're just gonna throw some scatters along that pathway. Hopefully that should take care of that potential issue that we have there. Because there's 
honestly not a lot going on in that sp that space overall. And I'm a little concerned. Not super concerned, just a little. And I'm also not using like the drills that require a lot of power or anything. They're just there right now. And that's fine, so. We're just gonna go in and do our thing here. You know, set, and uh, we have a little time to recover here. So what can we do to recover better? Power-wise, we're doing just marvelously. We're getting everything set back up here. And bad guys are inbound. So we have this group that gets hopefully obliterated pretty quickly. Which they do, and this group here. Again, they love bombing this spot right here. They really, really love bombing that spot. And then we have this guy who's just joining the fight for no reason. You know, just hanging out. There we go. Did our thing. Uh, we should probably help this out with... Uh, what do we want here? No, I'm, not, I'm in the wrong spot. <laughs> a force projector, there we go. And then probably a men projector as well. Or just, to, we'll just do a mender there, just to make sure this guy exists at his full capacity. Uh, as far as other stuff goes, um, we have a ton of, like, there's just obscene amounts of thorium here. I wish that I could do something more with it uh, as far as getting it out to other places. But you can see up here, we're already maxed out on it. Um, let me pause real fast and just take a look here. Does a foreshadow do anything for us? No. Does a cyclone. I don't know if I've ever even built a cyclone, quite honestly. No. A ripple. Nope. A fuse. A fuse does stuff. Okay. So let's get some fuses in here. You know, just a few. And we'll do something like this. To get those bad boys rolling. And we'll roll this way and that way. You can go down, go down there. And then one, two, three, four, five. I guess you need power, huh? It's one of those things that's uh, kind of nice to have with this stuff. I'm not expecting these to do really a whole lot of anything, but for those random times that we do have stuff that gets kind of past the goal here, it'll help us out, I think. Let's see, it helped out with this, because he never even made it past that area. We have that set and ready to go, and then maybe, should I consider like a little wave there or something? Let's do it just for fun. And I, I'm a little unfair when I look at the power because we're also, when I look at the power, part of that is we're drawing crazy power every time the meltdowns go. So it's not exactly a fair comparison, but you can see that we're still only half power right now where I'd like to be a little more. So we're doing, hopefully, the bare minimum here of what we need to do uh, to get ourselves established in this area. We'll do that. Where's my men projector? Or, yeah, that's what I want. Is that what I want it? Force projector. I always, yeah, I get them the words mixed up. I apologize. You know what I meant. All right, so that guy, this group is going to get swatted down real fast. They don't really even stand a chance. This group here is making it farther than I'd like, but they still don't make it all the way. They do take out some of our stuff, and then, oh, we got two of those bad boys coming in this time around. I wish there was a health meter on them so I could see what was going on with that. But there's not, so we can't. 
Okay. We did a decent job there, I think. Let's go in and throw a couple more fuses just around, because we can. And especially because we don't have a whole lot of stuff set up otherwise, so it, it could be a useful tactic for us to have a little bit more stuff set up in this area. And the belts are going to slow down everything here, but we have plenty of resources going in there and once they're full they are they're set and ready to go power wise uh we're, we're slowly getting up towards the million mark which is good and uh well, yeah we're doing most of the things we need to do to be successful here i think here comes the next round we have these guys which are useless this guy which this group is useless this one, and then we have these two bad boys coming in, which are not useless. They are a problem for us. I might want to get a meltdown somewhere down here. We have plenty of resources to make cryofluid, and we have plenty of power, sort of, to do that. And they keep coming through this route, so that's going to be... Although, they got shut down pretty quick that time. Alright, so let's take a look here. If we want to do that, let's go in and make a cryofluid mixer. So I'll make two of those. We'll go in and get our laser drill, one and two, along with our, I'm just gonna do water here. So these guys are gonna come in. Nope, not that one. To come over here and there. Then I can do that and it looks pretty. Hopefully my, my team's going to come down and help me out here in just a moment. There they are. Thank you, team. And you need... We need water. Okay, so... I don't know why I'm blanking on that, but I am. So water is going to come from this spot over here. We're going to flood water like so. And like so. And that's going to allow us to then take water and output it going up here and there. Well, let's not do that. Let's take this guy like so. All right. And then we can build a meltdown. And let's not do just one meltdown. Let's do two of them. And see what that does. I don't know what's going to do. Let's find out. All right. So we have cryofluid there. Let's see here. So that should be making cryofluid, right? There we go. And cryofluid's coming online there. All right, um, we're gonna need to have a force projector to protect all of that. And probably a men projector to repair all of that when it gets destroyed. Okay, Let's see what happens here. Power-wise, we're losing power, but that's okay. We have the dumbness. We have these guys, which are going for a new spot. They have not come over this way before, which is slightly concerning. I don't like that. I mean, they get absolutely annihilated, but I don't like that they're going in directions they shouldn't. And I don't like that either, so let's see. Throw that on there, throw a wave. I guess we'll throw a man projector on there as well. Once I find it. <laughs> I'm really bad at this game, I apologize. <laughs> All right, so we have this set up here. And then we shall throw Scatter City on there.
I really do love the polys and how fast they help everything. What I don't love is our ability, our lack of ability, should I say, to make power right now. So we need to get some more of that rolling here. So let's go up here. I have a new affinity for these uh, generators. I don't know why, but I just really like them a lot. They're just super useful tools. That don't cost us a lot. Especially when we have the resources to do it. And especially in a very rich map like this one is. Um, we don't need to really spend or be concerned about a ton of stuff here. And we can get lots of value out of it. So let's go and see. We have another round coming here. Do they really want to come this way? Hopefully uh, our scatters here are going to be able to assist. Ooh, bombers are intense in this area. I mean, they're not making it far, but they are making it farther than I'd like. So let's go over here. Oh no, we got everybody repaired. Let's give them a little protection with the force projector here i keep saying man projector i'm sorry um when i when i really mean force projector so we'll do something like that maybe Do we want to have these things have protection as well? There we go. Now that whole area is protected. Let's see if that changes their attitudes towards things. Doesn't appear to. But, ooh, there's three of those coming in, and they are attempting a different route. Interesting. So those guys never really made it anywhere interesting. Because they're doing their best. They are being met with some significant firepower. And hopefully, we'll get repaired everybody up here. And... That's pretty much the end of that. I mean, it's 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 fun to watch when the system is working the way you kind of hoped it would, that everything recovers, it's kind of self-sufficient and does its thing. It's really, really fun to watch. And what I might do, do I do this? Why not? Let's just, we're not really using these guys. They're kind of being used in reserve right now. So let's just throw some extra power production on there, because why not? There's just thorium everywhere in this map. I forgot how loaded this map was in just resources for us. Super fun. And then we have all these batteries that are just sort of half filled, but we have a large battery set up over there, which they could fly around all of this and knock that out and would shut down a lot of our defenses pretty quick. But luckily, they're not that smart. So we're going through, we get that one taken care of pretty quickly. The bomber's gonna come in here, they should get taken care of pretty quickly. Especially once they reach the ire of our uh, meltdowns. And then that one's gonna get wrecked. Wrecked, wrecked. I want to participate. There we go. All right, we've, we've recaptured our sector and we are successful there. Uh, so let's go back and review the plan because I'm not confident in the plan. I'm, I'm not feeling great about this and I want to make sure. Ooh, nope. I want to make sure that I'm doing what I should be doing here. Um, additionally, we have a lot of resources tied up in this spot and I want to make sure they're getting sent to the right places. Uh, so like this guy here, we don't need to be sending the silicon. Let's send out phase fabric. We're making lots of phase fabric. Let's get it out of here. 
And where are we launching to? Oh, we're not launching to the place that we're supposed to. That's supposed to go to 223. Select. So we have phase coming up here. We have phase going down there. And hopefully um, that should take care of some of our concerns with that stuff. Although we don't have a lot of concerns, honestly. It's just I want to make sure things are going where they're supposed to. And I know this is a hot mess. Um, I'm still working through the ways to better design these things. Uh, so that's fine. Um, our phase will do its thing there. And I, I would like to set up another launch point here. Can I unload there, bring it across, and put one there? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, I can. I can do that. All right, let's do that. And I don't want that to be... What do I want that to be? Let's go with Plasium. Alright. I think we're going to leave that be for now. Uh, and how all of this is set up. Where? We have our foreshadow. I forgot we had one sitting over there. That's exciting. Um, <laughs> but we're going to leave this set up as it is now. Let's return. I want to pause this real fast and head out to the planet map. Uh... There are several options we have. Uh, we have Nuclear Production Complex, we have Desolate Rift, and we have Naval Fortress. This is an extreme, it's also an enemy base. I want to hold off on that. This one's an extreme, not an enemy base, but I still want to hold off on that. But I think this is going to be my next play, the Nuclear Production Complex. Uh, for the main reason that it gives me two new pieces of tech that I don't currently have. One of which should be a weapon that we don't have here um, that's even greater than like a cyclone. I don't think I've actually used that, but it's there. Uh, and real quick, hold on, what's that? Explosives clumps of flak at nearby enemies. Okay, that could be super useful. I haven't looked at it before, but that could be super useful, uh, especially with air stuff. Flak is usually an air defense kind of thing. And then we have this, which I believe is the laser drill. Um, so if we can get those kind of set up, I think we're gonna be rolling for hopefully the next areas. But to complete the actual game part, these two are not necessary. They're just there as a ridiculous challenge, and I would like to experience that. But I think we're going to go after a nuclear production complex next. So let me know what you think of my plan. Uh, see if that makes sense. So I think I'm going to go nuclear production complex. Then I'm going to go naval fortress. Uh, and then maybe figure out if these guys are worth the trouble or not. But I think this is definitely the next one on my list. So folks, thanks for joining me. I'll see you in our next episode and uh, see what happens. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.